Hi everyone, it's Diane Hall, author, medium, channel, angel intuitive. And um, today I've got, um, this is a message for the 2nd of May, gosh, May already, 2nd of May 2016. And um, the message that I've got from the little book of daily guidance, first of all, is number 24, and it is Courageous Dreams. And the message is, something exciting is waiting to reveal itself to you, but it doesn't come from outside of you. Everything you are about to create starts with an attitude. How do you see yourself? Do you dare to see the highest truth of who you are and get excited about what you can create? Who have you forgotten to be? So let's just absorb that for a second. So just going back from who have you forgotten to be? This is a week when you might have feelings stirred up within you that will take you back to a time when you actually had a lot more hope a lot more feeling of promise within you, of being invincible almost, feeling that you could do anything that you set your mind to. This is a week to reconnect with those feelings, to reconnect with the idea that if you believe you can do something and you begin to move towards it and it's aligned and it's in, in alignment with your purpose, you can do it. It's a week to go back to the time when you felt that anything was possible. So something is going to happen at some point this week that will remind you that the answer to everything that you're seeking is somewhere inside already. It's not something that's going to happen to present it all to you, necessarily. It's going to be something that triggers the reawakening inside you that you are all of it already. It's already happened somewhere inside you. Somewhere inside you, that nugget of belief, of self-belief, it still exists. It's still there. And that is what is going to create the dream that you have in there somewhere that you're just sometimes backing off from and then going towards and backing off from and going towards. This is the feeling that I'm getting and I'm hearing yo-yoing. There are a lot of us yo-yoing at the moment. Some days you wake up thinking you can do it and some days you wake up thinking, who am I kidding? So this is about having the courage to keep dreaming, to keep believing in that dream, to consistently keep believing in that dream. So it continues, dig deep and remember those big dreams. Be as fearless as a child in your dreaming. Today calls for courage and bigger dreams, greater vision. Everything starts with a dream. You have what it takes to fulfil your destiny. Do you have what it takes to dream big? I love that because it's drawing a distinction between what's possible and what we believe is possible and they do become one and the same. Anything's possible but if we don't believe that then it doesn't really make any difference to our actual reality because in order to step out onto the path we have to believe it's possible for us to walk that path and so that's the message for this week and it's a really important way to start the week as well because Mondays can be a bit weird you might get this message on Sunday you might get it on Saturday but if you're facing the beginning of a week and you're you know possibly in one of those little moments when you wake up and think who am I kidding this is actually my reality and it's not great it's just a reminder that your reality starts inside you and the adventure that you are about to go on that you promised yourself that you would be going on, that you had a vision of earlier on before you got to that place of, of disbelief. All of that, that whole adventure, that whole inspiring idea, it's still there. And what it really needs is for you to give it your intention, your attention and your self-belief and to move towards it with everything that you do, with everything that you say, with everything that you put outside, from the inside, act as if you believe it. Because saying that you believe it is one thing, but actually behaving as if you believe it is something entirely different because it's the actions that you take that will create it. And then having your mind switched on in terms of belief will help you to see it through to the end. So. Do you have what it takes to dream big? 
This is the question that we're all going to be asking ourselves this week. And again, you know, it's a reminder that Jupiter's going direct again soon. I think it's the 9th of May. So this is a part of our preparation, talking about retrogrades and what do we do in a retrograde when we are reassessing and reevaluating and rethinking. A lot of that is to do with healing and refocusing ourselves. So that's the refocusing that we'll be doing this week before Jupiter goes direct, the big dreamer, the big expansive um, dream mechanic, if you like. It's to ask ourselves if we're really ready, if that's what's been holding us back. If it's the fact that we've been telling ourselves we're ready, but we haven't actually been carrying out the actions that show we're ready. If we haven't actually been feeling that readiness within us, and we've been expecting something else to come along from the outside and to show us that we can have it or to hand it to us on a plate. It's about, with every fibre of my being, with every drop of my intention, with all of my focus and my clarity and my God guided creation, perception, ability, I believe that this is possible. That's what needs to go into each step that you take towards your dream. So I'm going to pick a card and I'm going to the unicorn cards from Diana Cooper this time, which I also love. And I'm going to ask because it's still very much about pure intentions and being able to focus our thoughts. Think about the, the um, antenna, if you like, that unicorns have. It's always just this light, this piercing, this laser beam of light. And that's what we're being asked to focus on. Right, I have stopped, so I'm going to see what's on top. So the question I'm asking is something like, um, what is it that we need to see this week to help us to be big, courageous dreamers again? And it says, Feather, this calling card from the unicorns tells you they are near you. Okay, so that is a message to connect with your unicorns. Depending on what you believe, um, you can either connect with your unicorns or you can connect with that pure source light and trust that when you ask for it to be near you, in that form, in that pure source form or in the form of a unicorn or an angel or any other angelic light being or guide, that it will be near to you and that you will see signs, you'll see signs that you are being guided and that they are near to you. I'm going to pick another card from, from this deck and I'm going to ask what else can we have to inspire us on our journey. So that basically is a message that's saying if you ask you will receive, if you ask for help whether it's help to build your confidence and your courage, whether it's help to show you the steps that you've, you've missed, whether it's help to bring back that childlike sense of belief and exploration and excitement, it will come. And we've got here King of the Unicorns. You are blessed with majesty, vision and power. So again, it's talking about vision. So your vision is the thing that's going to really help you this week. Sit down and think it through. What does it actually look like? What does my dream look like? How am I living that dream when it's actually real, when it's a reality? Wherever it exists within the universe, already as a reality in a parallel universe, how does it look exactly? What's included in it? Where am I? What am I wearing? Where do I go for a walk every day? What do I do at night, last thing at night? What do I do first thing in the morning? Right, I'm picking a card from the Secret Language of Colour and I've just been told to stop shuffling. So I'm asking, what do we need to remember to inspire us um, in our energy field? What do we need to take in? What qualities do we need to take into our energy field to keep us focused on big dreams? Find richness from the dark night really important because for some of us it would have been a question of the really difficult things in life, the really big challenges, the things that seem to just kind of come from out of the blue and trip us up and uh, that cause us to stop believing, that cause us to feel hopeless, to feel that we're not protected or loved or guided or guarded by a benevolent God and a loving universe and a team of guides and angels who protect us and love us and are always with us. And this 
feeling of abandonment that we often experience in the long dark night. This can be the thing that sometimes leaves an impression. That Hi everyone, sorry about that, I had to change my batteries there. Well, not my batteries, the camera's batteries. Um, anyway, um, so finding richness in the, uh, from the dark night, yes. Yeah, so these can be the experiences that sometimes leave an impression and that cause us to believe that we can't or it won't work out or the universe is not on our sides or it, we can't make things happen. So instead of allowing those experiences to weaken us or to disillusion us, um, this is not a week to be um, hopeless. This is not a week to be cynical. This is a week to take all of those experiences and from those experiences create a better, warmer, stronger, more inspired version of ourselves because as we know the light comes in through the cracks. So the more broken we felt in the past the more light we are able to carry in the present. So use that light to help you on your journey. Use everything that you've learned, everything that you've become, everything that you've gained from the richness of the dark night and allow it to move you forward into a more hopeful and more positive time. It's actually the opposite of what we think. The long dark night is not designed to dis disillusion us. It's designed to wake us up to ourselves. It's to strengthen us, to show us who we really are. And also, not to say that we always have to learn from bleak times or that all, we always have to suffer to bring great creativity onto the earth, but if you've already suffered those times and you have a choice between becoming disillusioned and becoming more creative and inspired, then this is the week to pull yourself up if you're ready for that and to channel all of that learning into something really special and exquisite and go on the adventure of a lifetime. Okay, thanks very much for watching everyone and I will speak to you next week. If you would like to book a private reading with me, please click on one of the links below the video. I'm still running my free mentoring um, offer, so please also um, go, uh, yeah, subscribe to the channel, Subscribe to my newsletter and send me a message telling me what some of your most um, present challenges are or what you would be most curious about learning in a series of mentoring sessions. Thanks again for watching. Have a great week. Bye.